we start with a math lesson and the students participate in understanding how the math applies to the needs of the robot game table. And when we get the robot game table, they'll start to apply those new geometry skills that they have, calculating distances, rotation, translations, in order to solve the problems on the missions um, for each of the categories that they're given. So right now they're working on building and figuring out how to code basic moves for the robot that they've built. Once they have that mastered, we'll get into more complex problem solving that has to do with moving a lever or navigating around an object and then backing into it to release something. We got a robot to say sounds like, like bird sounds and meowing. Like the coding parts, it does take a bit of math, like rotations and um, translations to uh, understand how the robot will move. It's important because you get to meet new people, make new friends, you get to learn extra because it's not only learning engineering, like you also learn a little bit of math before you start every lesson. We actually have standards of learning in Virginia for coding um, that go down all the way to kindergarten and they're not always implemented uh, with fidelity at every single grade level. So what I found is that middle school students could really benefit from getting more coding experiences because they weren't getting as much exposure in elementary school. It helps you figure out how to learn it and you're not really focusing about that it's like math you're just focusing on how it helps you build the robot. Our students of color, our multilingual students are underrepresented in the coding fields and coding courses and technology um, so I thought that if more students had access at younger ages that it would be likely that students would get engaged and involved in these lucrative fields and these problem-solving fields which is why um, we started the club here. I like building it. I like robots. It's like hard but also you're also learning how to build it. It's like learning how to read the um, sketch, the stuff on the computer. What we're learning is like we're normally doing something really hard in math, but then this will make it two times more easier and will catch me ahead of future work. Talking with a couple of other teachers and discussed ways that we could create a division-wide robotics competition so that every single middle school would have a team that they could put forward and more students would get access to robotics and coding. And in order to have a competition, we need other teams to compete against. So while Journey Middle School is fully up and running, we're fully funded due to the generosity of donors and the grant that I received, we still need funds for Henley Middle School's robotics team and Burley Middle School's robotics team, which is why I hope people will donate to their donors choose fundraisers so that we have some good competition for the spring. I think like it's helping me with my coding skills because um, it will probably help me far on into the future with like jobs and stuff like that. It might help me with my career and it's like really important because there are like a lot of careers that might need coding and a bunch of math.